open your textbooks to chapter 3. Mr. Benson, can you please read the opening paragraph? Mr. Benson? Mr. Benson? What? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, uh... Um... According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. No way a bee should be able to fly! <laughs> its wings are too small to get its... flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible 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 yeah screw the laws of aviation school's out forever <laughs> yes <laughs> today is gonna be the best day yet. My entire life's led up to this. Feels like I'm still a larva. I was only born last week. Now I'm getting a diploma and I'm ready to fly free. Hey, Mary. Oh, hey, Adam. Ready for the big day? Oh, you bet. But I couldn't decide if I wanted to wear a black and yellow tie or a yellow and black tie, so I settled for this. What do you think? You know, Adam, I don't think anyone will notice the difference. Really? Phew! What a relief! <laughs> These past few days have been a massive bore. Learning things like how the queen bee is a whore. She mates with every drone bee. That is not the job for me. The perfect bee! Oh, what? You got a B in that class? I got an A. Damn it, I'm supposed to be the smart one. Man, who cares? We're graduating. <laughs> These grades we got don't matter anymore. The world's out there, there's so much to explore. Now, can you believe we've made it? Think of all we could achieve. I'm nervous but excited. We're the class of 9.15. The laws of aviation can't hold us down. We're educated bees in a cap and gown. So why should we care what a human think is impossible? Little body never stop to be from living his dream. We're clever, fun, and a little, little bit naughty. Living the impossible on the B team. Today is our graduation, so screw the laws of aviation. Screw the laws of aviation. Welcome, New York City graduating class of 915. Today you celebrate all that you have done. But tomorrow is the day you choose your job. You only get one decision, then it's stuck with you for life. Yes. Make sure that you choose wisely, or you'll end up like my wife. She fixed the credit of honey. She's a um, grud picker. Anyways, this concludes our graduation ceremony. Woo! Oh, wait a minute, one job for the rest of our lives? How could they never told us that? What difference does it make, man? We graduated! <laughs> the laws of aviation can't hold us down. Graduated bees about to hit the town. So why should we care what humans think is impossible? Tiny wings and a fat little body never stop to be from living his dream. Clever fun and a little bit naughty Living the impossible on the B-team This is our celebration So screw the laws of aviation Screw the laws of aviation
to the laws of aviation. Well, I'm relieved. Now I only need to make one decision in life. But how could they never have told us that? Listen, Barry, I'm a bee. You're a bee. I'm a bee. We're all bees. So as a bee, I'm gonna do what everyone else does and stick to plan B. You should too. Plan B? But what about plan A? There is no plan A. Only plan B. Pick a job, be a bee. Enough questions. The only question you should be asking is... What job am I going to pick? Which one's the job for me? To the queen! Making sure her wings are clean! Organizing honey blocks! Or hanging with the pollen jocks! Whoa! Whoa. Alright, make way! Roll the next force on approach! Roll the next force on approach! Adam, there they are! Those are the pollen jocks! Oh, I've never seen them this close before! Well, you know what it's like to go outside the hive! Flying who knows where, doing who knows what! Yeah, but some of them don't come back! I'd be willing to take that risk. Barry, you can't just decide one day to be a pollen jock. You gotta be bred for that. I mean, look at them. Pollen jocks, pollen jocks, pollen jocks, pollen jocks. The pollen jocks are the best of us. Better than the rest of us. Stronger than. So screw the laws of aviation. 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 Wow, 
Well, that's our cue. We'll see you in a bit, ladies. <laughs> Just follow along. That's cool. Uh... Yo, we are the Molly Shots. We got this job for the guys.
But Dad, didn't you ever want a different job when you were younger? As a boy, I always dreamed of being a cop. I love the idea of high speed chases, crime scenes, taking down people for breaking the laws, but once I picked up a honey stir, I gave up that dream and realized that stirring honey is so much more satisfying. And realistic, a female bee like me can never be a cop. Absolutely not. You make a much better team stirring. Well, don't you ever get bored of doing the same boring job every single day? Son, let me tell you something about stir. You just you grab that stick, and you, you move it around, you stir it around to get yourself into a rhythm. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Dad, I'm just starting to think that maybe the honey field isn't right for me. And you were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a pretty bad job for a guy with a stinger. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I... Oh, Janet, your son's going through the phase. He's uh, not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you can be so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. Uh, Barry, you just, you don't understand. I think, I think that maybe you got
this is it. I can't believe we pick on our jobs today. Yep, today is the day. Oh, we better get in line. I heard the interview process can be pretty intense. Have you ever picked out crud before? No, ma'am. But I'm a hard worker who's always willing to try new things. Do you commit to a lifetime of picking crud? I love nothing more. You got the job. Woohoo! Picking out the crud! That is stellar! <laughs> oh my gosh, do you know you're gonna pick? <laughs> no idea. You? Oh, I don't know. There's just so many options. Mike Wrangler, antenna ball polisher, regurgitation. What's that one about? <laughs> You got the job. <laughs> oh boy, we're next. There's just so many options. Uh, Krausen, Queen Bee, and Fred Mater. Oh, well, you should see a picture of her first, am I right? <laughs> How do you expect to be a stunt bee if you can't take a 15 millimeter fly swatter? You'd be better suited for the Krellman. Next. <laughs> Hi, um, do you happen to have a picture of a Queen Bee available? It may influence my decision. Oh, oh, God, no, 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 please, no. Um, is the crumbing still available? That job takes literally no skill whatsoever. It's always open. You got the job. Oh, oh my gosh, we got it! Oh, Barry! <laughs> oh, Barry, it's your turn. Barry? 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 The Barry? Next. So this is plan B. I may be a B, but I'm better than this. Great school was a buzz, high school was a breeze. I always was the perfect student. Look, all bees. But my three days in college failed to acknowledge one thing, that the job we'd pick would have to stick for eternity. Or at least for the rest of our lives. Which I'll tell you isn't very long. Bees are dying every minute, but working every second. So why should I live my life on the bee list when the A list calls and beckons? Bees are dropping every minute, we don't got long to live. How can I work my life away when I got so much more to give? No more string bees on the cards. I want to get A's. I'm tired of the B team when the A team is the race. If I cannot fit in, then I guess I'll fly on out. You'll see. Because I'm going to be an A plus B. He's gonna be Out. I can't do this, Adam. I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there! Oh, no. I have to, before I go to work for the rest of my life. You can't go out there, man. You're gonna die! You're crazy! <laughs> no more straight B's on report cards. I'm gonna get A's. I'm tired of plan B. When plan A's it's the brace. If I cannot fit in, then I guess I'll fly on.
Jackson free. I know she's probably the most up before. They're kind of ugly. Nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're beautiful. Woohoo! All right, Barry. You're about to get a lesson in collecting nectar. Yeah. Oh, don't you guys use those high powered nectar extracting guns that latch onto the flower and suck all the nectar out? No, Barry. What we do is we suck the pollen out of the flower with our mouths. <laughs> then we store the pollen in our second stomachs. Then when we get back to the hive, the worker bees suck the pollen out of our honey sacks with their uh, proboscises. <laughs> oh, that's cool too. Watch splits. He is a nectar collecting monster. <laughs> yeah, man. <clears throat> Hello, flower. I'm here to suck your nectar. Here I go. Ah! <laughs> That's good.
and deliberate distortions of pitch and timbre. No, screw it! I must ask her! You like jazz? I just gotta know. Do you like 
jazz. I know it's crazy, but you gotta know that I like jazz. Grab some keys and a clarinet, a drum and a bass, and there's your jazz quartet. There ain't never been a bee with music taste like me. So do you like jazz?
Save my life. I want to thank you. I want to hold you. I want to touch you. And I want to know you like jazz. Yeah, I like jazz. You love jazz. Yeah, I love jazz. Do you trust me? I think so. Do you love me? know that I'm grateful and that's all so I'm gonna leave now. Wait, wait, wait. How'd you learn how to do that? Do what? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, dada, honey, you picked it up. <laughs> that's very funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. <laughs> anyway. Uh, can I get you something? Like what? No, I don't know. I mean, uh, coffee. Oh, I don't, I don't want to put you out. Oh, it's no trouble. Unless you're making anyway. It's just coffee. <laughs> nah, I hate to impose. Oh, it takes two minutes. Oh, really? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, I don't know. I just I don't want to put you out. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, actually, okay, I would love a cup. <laughs> you want a little rum cake? Uh, no, I shouldn't. Have a little rum cake. Nah, I really couldn't. Oh, come on. You know, I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms here. <laughs> Where? Well, these stripes don't help. Oh, you look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Oh, stripes are great. Stripes are... Well, thank you. I feel a lot better now. It's a rum cake. You know, I'm already feeling a little buzzed. I don't think rum would help. Buzzed? Because you're a bee. Talking! Yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, um... Oh, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> She can't believe it! <laughs> Barry, where are you? We've heard you've flown off and you still haven't chosen a job yet. The honey isn't gonna make itself. Hey, Barry! I heard you haven't chosen a job yet, so by default, I guess that means you might be a crud picker. What do you mean? We're gonna be crud buddies! That is stellar! <laughs> Barry, where are ya? The pollen jock said they lost you in a tennis match? I didn't know you liked tennis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Where was I? Alright, so, he can't get a taxi. So, he's making his tie they're flying up Madison. And he finally gets there. Uh -huh. He runs up the steps of the church. The wedding is on. Uh -huh. And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I marry a watermelon? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Is that a me joke? <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of stuff we do. Uh, yeah, different. <laughs> so Barry, what are you gonna do? Oh, about work? I don't know. I mean, I want to do my part with the hive, but. I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. Really? Yeah, my parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Wow, no way. My only interest is flowers. You know, our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh hey, you can see my hive right there. Oh, you're in Sheep Meadow. Yes. You know the turtle pond? Yeah. I'm right off that. Oh, no way. I know that area. Did you know I lost a toe ring there? Once? Really? Mm -hmm. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? I don't know. It's like putting a hat on your knee. Da! <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, thanks again for the copy. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be out the rest of my life! <laughs> Where's the... It, were you... Uh, uh, I know, I know. Uh, anyway, uh... 
Uh, can I can I take these this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Oh, that's okay. Here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got me. That was good. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's a beat thing. Uh, well then, uh, I guess I'll I'll see you around, or not, or okay, Barry. Oh, uh, and thanks again for four. Oh, okay, it's nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway, bye. <laughs> Well, you're back. You got out of the hive, you had your little experience, saw whatever you needed, and now you're back, you can pick out a job, and everything can be normal. Well, I met someone. Oh! You met someone. Uh, is she being? <laughs> oh, she's, she's not a spider, is she? No, no, no. Not a spider. I'm not attracted to the spiders, okay? I know to everyone has like the hottest thing with eight legs and all, but I can't get by that face. Okay, though, because I can never forgive you if you dated a spider. Or anything other than a bee for that matter. It's just not right. Well, she's a human. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you did not do that. That would be a bee law. You would not break a bee law. <laughs> Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy! <laughs> you fly outside the hive, man! You're going crazy talking to humans! Humans that attack our homes with power washers and M80s! That's wanting to stick a dynamite! She's so nice. Uh, she's a florist, and she likes jazz! Oh, well, jazz is your favorite. But no, 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 no! <laughs> Listen to me, Barry. We're us, and they're them. There's us, then there's them. Bees are meant to date bees! Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? Stop yearning! There's no yearning! Listen to me, Barry. The human world is a mess. Life is a bee. It's better than anything they got out there. The honey is always sweeter than somebody else's hive. You dream about flying out there, but Barry, you won't survive! Just look at the world around you. It's all you could want it more. Such wonderful things around you. What more are you looking for? When you're a bee, when you're a bee, Barry, it's sweeter. It's one centimeter. Take it from me. How dare they only fight all day? Think like a bee. Was I even <laughs> meant to be? A bee who's always bee and bee is not the bee I see in me. Be smart. How can I be just another bee? Be positive. I try, but I don't feel like me. Be cool. I am not just another bee. Be productive. So maybe I should just start thinking me. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking me. It's been three days. I don't understand why this why it's not working. How much longer is this going to go on? I got a lot of big life decisions I'm thinking about. Well, life, you have no life, you have no job, you're barely a bee. But it can't be just been a little buddy. Barry, listen. Your mother is talking to you. Martin went to talk to him. Barry, I'm talking to you. <laughs> when you're a bee, when you're a bee, you've got no freedom, subject to beat them. Indefinitely, I'm not just another bee. I won't work for eternity. I can't suppress a love for Vanessa. I've got to be an A plus B.
receive it as a very, very, very wait for me. Whoa. Family think of me. 
you kick me out of the web the second I put eyeliner on all eight of my eyes. Well, I sure care an awful lot about what the hive thinks of me. Now I know better than Barry flying outside the hive, talking to humans, dating another species. Who's Barry? Adam, you can't just leave. You make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Usually I just feel dark and empty. I'm sorry, Lydia, but I can't be your little honey. Adam. Sun. Here comes the sun. I 
here. Guys, what the? What's going on? Just the man I wanted to see. Kick your little bump butt. You know I me? Mean? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to dance. Ha! Your honey is ours, and rightfully, we won't hand it over to a talking bee. Yeah. What's some of that? Well, look before you all this honey, it was hard to make. Bees work hard and not for money, so it's not yours to take. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Your honey is tasty and loved by all. America's favorite. Just that Steve or Paul. It's like the best. We've <laughs> been taking it for centuries, so you're too late. So thank you for the toast topper you create. Here comes the sun. No! So 
some honey man. Sometimes life won't always stick to your plan. We all had plans that went astray, but we ain't gonna let that get in the way. When you're in glass with a bit of a smack, and you feel like the wind is pushing you back, don't try to fight the road just for your Yeah. 
They make the honey. We make the money. <laughs> they make the honey and we make the money. Oh no.
I rub my stinger and start buzzing with delight. Our honey's ours to keep. 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 Our honey's ours to keep.
brought to this musical to bring you another scene of this musical where we shift our attention to the incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, where all eyes and ears of the world are patiently waiting. Because for the first time in history, we're going to see if a honeybee can actually speak. Barry, what have we got ourselves into here? I don't know, but it's pretty big, isn't it? Hey, you think these billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? <laughs> well, if it isn't the B team. No. I'm sorry? No, all right. No, 
now, because you don't do anything for you. Be keeping to all we've ever been seen. What could be worse? There's more, I swear. You decided to make your mascot a bear. Oh. Well, bears, they are adorable creatures. Fuzzy, and they have adorable features. Black bear, fuzzy bear, build a bear, bear, bear. bear. Oh, that might tell me, Mr. Scare Bear. of our doom. How would you like him crashing into your living room, eating up your couch and spitting out your throat pillows? Roar! Roar! No, not the throat pillows! This is ridiculous. Oh, bear? He's right. Get that bear out of here. I don't care anymore. I hate you, bees. Bye. I love my honey. Order, order, order. Weave some magic into this journey, or it's all with our hands. Don't worry, Mr. Campbell. I got a few tricks up my sleeves. You have the tweezers? Yes. You're not allergic, are you? <laughs> Only to losing, son. Only to losing. <laughs> Your Honor, we'd like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. <laughs> Mr. Benson B! Let's address the elephant in the room. What's your relationship to Miss Vanessa Bloom? We're friends. We're good friends? Good friends, yes. How good? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yes. We live together? Wait a minute. Do you? No. What does this have to do with the case, though? Well, all right, Barry, don't be smug. Tell us, Barry, are you a little man bug? Now, that's not why we're here. Well, let me ask another thing. I'm shed a tear. I hear the queen gives birth to everything in the house. Let's talk about how you are black. Sit right over there is your mom and dad. But they aren't your real parents. No, isn't that sad? Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Another thing about that I heard some buzzing, that all bees are always dating their cousins. Objection! I'm gonna pin cushion this guy! Adam, don't! It's what he wants! <laughs> oh, 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 I'm in here! He's in here! Order! Oh, 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 the weak savages, it's all they know! It's their way! <laughs> Adam, come on. Stay with me. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> oh! What angel of mercy will come and suck the venom from my heaving buttocks? Arr! Arr! I will arr in this world. We will take a recess. <laughs> How did you find me here? I heard what happened. Oh. Well, I'll be all right. Thanks for checking up on me. Adam, I want to be with you. Have you given any thought about us? Lydia, so much has happened since we met. I became a lawyer. I talked to humans. I even stung one. And all because of my crazy best friend, Barry. If I've learned anything from that guy, it's... Screw what society thinks, and screw the laws of aviation, too. So what you're saying is? I'm a bee, and you're a spider. A hot, goth, kind of scary in a sexy way looking spider. And <laughs> I'm in love with you. Oh, oh baby. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, no, 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 uh, uh, Barry, this is... Lydia. Hey. Bruh. <laughs> you literally said you would never date a spider. Like, specifically, you said a spider. Uh, no. Well, when did I say that? In Act One! <laughs> I'm a different man now. Thanksgiving in the Hive is gonna be crazy this year! Yeah. <laughs> 
Becky Benson. I like your feeling. Oh, well thanks, Lydia. It was nice to meet you. Uh, is it okay if we have a moment? Of course. Bye, little honey. Bye, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Is there much pain? Well, when I stung Montgomery, I ruptured my abdomen and lost part of my digestive tract. But I think I'll be all right. I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What's important is that you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Oh, look, there's still a little bit of celery on it. <laughs> what was it like to stay someone? Well, I can't quite describe it. It was all adrenaline and then pure ecstasy. <laughs> all right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I flew us right into this. What was I thinking? I mean, look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in the world. What do you think the humans will do if they win? I don't know. I'm sure they put their roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out! <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Barry. I know how much this case meant to you. I know, buddy. You know, I may have stung Montgomery, but we're the ones left feeling stung. We can't let that venom get to us. We just gotta get a credit card and swipe out that stinger. Is that what they did to him? Yeah, I saw his butt. But listen, man. When the world is against you and weighing you down, it's easy to sink you and simply frown. But don't lay back and let them feel no Can you stop smoking? My buddy was just singing an inspiring song and now you're making him cough. Sorry, it's a new piece. Now, yeah, smoking's <laughs> too bad for you. You should know that. You're a doctor. Yeah, I'm trying to quit. <laughs> That's why bees don't smoke. Sorry, it's a habit. <laughs> wait, wait, Adam, Adam, that's it. Bees don't smoke, but some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. You mean it? It's not over? No, no. You get up, get dressed, I gotta get something. I need you to stall. B man. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Yeah, we'll rise up through the pain Show them we can even fly through rain Don't miss your chance because you're young Don't fall apart when you take time Through the pain Show them we can even fly through rain Don't miss your chance because you're young It's time to show them we're not stuck Didn't escape this bee forsaken musical. <laughs> Except for that guy who had a pee. Is he still gone? He had the right idea. <laughs> but brave souls you are. Probably waiting around for me to come back. Well, ever since I found out this was a musical, I've been working on a little saw. <laughs> yes. I hope you like it. I confess I'm You were my favorite flower in the garden of those who goes and leaves under my nose. 
I wouldn't call myself an intellectual, but I never took her for bisexual. <laughs> Sort of haphazardly, and as a result, 
we don't often make very good time. <laughs> but I promise we have a terrific case if you just wait a little bit longer. Well, what case? You know, where's the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Oh, John, you want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What? <laughs> this? This little doohickey right here? Well, I'm, this gonna hurt a fly, let alone a bee. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, look what has happened to bees who have never been asked, smoking or not. Is this what nature has intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to these smoke machines and man-made wooden slat work camps, living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man? What are we gonna do now? He's playing the species card. Um. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, free these bees! Free these bees! Free these bees! All the honey is finally going to belong to us. The bees will have to work so hard all the time. Woohoo! Happy boy! I need to do it, brother. Thanks, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature. You'll regret this, Benson. Barry, how much honey do you think is out there? Uh, probably a lot. Okay, and uh, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. <laughs> Yeah, but guys, what if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? I mean, we've been living the bee way a very long time. 27 million years. I'm sure everything will be just fine. So, congratulations on your victory, Mr. Hudson. But, um, what are you planning to do now? Thanks, Kathy. Great question. It's time for Operation Take Back All the Honey. Great, but how do you plan on doing that? I mean, there must be hundreds of thousands of Well, thousands. another great question. You see, as a bee, we often have to give up our dream jobs for the sake of the hut. And uh, my parents are the perfect example of hardworking, dedicated bees who gave up their dreams so that our honey could be made. So, I, Barry B. Benson, would like to appoint Martin and Janet Benson as the first ever New York City Honey Cops. Barry, are you serious? You trust us with this job, son? Nobody has more passion towards what they do than you two. If you thought making honey was like making love, just wait till you try taking honey. All right, I want every last drop back. Anyone who refuses to surrender their honey will have to deal with the law. No mercy. All right, honey cops, fly out. Well, uh, you heard the man, Martin. No mercy. Operation Get Back All the Honey. Pretty cool, huh? You and me. Take it, honey. Pretty cool. Just the two of us. You know what it reminds me of? I think I do. Oh, no, 
Yeah, but sometimes I think, so what if they should be like Tower Honey? Why wouldn't they? It's the greatest thing in the world. And I was excited to be a part of making it. I was gonna have a desk. This was gonna be my new job. And I was gonna be really, really good at it. But now, now I can't.
to spread my wings again and fly away. Goodbye. I'd do it all again if I could turn back time for love. Yeah. 
have sold you so Soon enough now death will seize us So you better be praying to me, Jesus This is the end Bobby, have you ever wanted to save the world? 
guess. Bobby, do you consent to all the removal of your nectar and pollen so that the rest of the flowers may, may continue to live as well as the entire human population? Hang on, isn't this the part of the movie where you steal the rosemary float and then you land the plane? <laughs> yeah, but that'd be way too hard to show on stage, so we're doing this. <laughs> Alright, pollen jocks, pollinate!
Uh, uh, hey, so, uh, uh, guys, <laughs> my turn. <laughs> hey, uh, so, now that we just sang that really inspiring song and everyone's a little bit more accepting, I thought maybe this would be a good time for this. <gasps> Vanessa Bloom? What? Will you marry me? <laughs> Species love. Oh, God. Um, Mrs. Ariel. <laughs> I love her. She understands me. Ariel thinks using chopsticks is a special skill. So, you think it's a happy ending for the girl who left her perfect boyfriend to be with a bee? You think it's a fairy tale? No. No. This is my story. And my happy ending. Ariel and I will be married on the beach. The minister will say I may kiss the bride, and when I do, she'll turn into a beautiful mermaid. Together, we'll spend Thanksgiving and Christmas with her family under the sea, an Arbor Day at my mom's house. <laughs> and what's gonna happen to Vanessa and Barry Benson? They're gonna have an ugly-ass-looking human bee child named Freddie Benson who will probably be on some stupid web show and fall in love with a girl named Charlie. <laughs> so, I'll leave you with just this one piece of wisdom. Don't let anyone tell you what is a special skill and what isn't a special skill. Those are the same people who will mock you, cheat on you, and leave you when you need them the most. I learned that the hard way. So yes, using chopsticks is a special skill. Thank you all for coming out tonight. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, screw you, Barry Benson. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, right. Thank you, sir. Right. Right. Go See you later. Bye. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thanks for saying what you came Sorry about that. <laughs> now, uh, if you should have learned any two things from this musical, it's that you can love whoever you want. And don't kill bees, because the world will end. And eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. And the more legs, the sexier the woman. Making honey is like making love. But killing people is much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Moose foot is the best. Blows your head off. Old white dudes are always right. You can eat yogurt with chopsticks. <laughs> are you serious? That's really the theme of the show? What's the moral of this story? What's the theme of this show? I don't
to bed and stop your slow Get to a rhythm and there you go You got it, man, for heaven's sake But in a minute or two you'll need a break Cause making honey is like making love